Hi, my name is Matthew. Welcome to Artisans Interactive Game Dev. Today we'll be doing the shooting mechanic for Construct 2. So let's jump right in. Okay, so where we are currently at the moment, we have a player character, some platforms, and an enemy. We have some collectibles and respawning points and a health bar. Um, easily follow along with your own projects back at home. Otherwise, uh, all of the materials that we will be using, also in the project, will be in the description box below. So feel free to download that and uh, let's get started. We're going to make a shooting mechanic, so I need to have a couple of objects. I will need to have a shooting gun for our player. We will need a projectile. And this type of shooting mechanic will be a mouse aiming and shooting. Um, so we'll also have a target that will move around like an aiming sight. All right, so let's get started and make those objects. So we're going to right click on screen insert new object and our first object we make be a sprite and call it target and go insert click on the screen I have already got a pre-made image so I'll go load and there's our target open and that. perfect. So I'll close that down. So we've got our target there. Now let's create our gun. I'll go right click on screen, insert new object. We'll choose sprite. And I will call this gun insert. Also have uh, a easy made little gun available for us. We'll go open and what we will do is with our gun we want it to rotate around the base here so we'll make sure that we have the set orientation and we will pick a spot where we'd like it to rotate. I think that looks about right um, and once you've picked that spot, you'll close it down. Alright, so, you know, if we were to click this, that would be how the gun will rotate. Alright, so, there we go, we have our weapon. And we will drop that off over the side, as well as that. We're going to insert new object. And this one be the projectile. Projectile. And a sprite. Insert. And we also have that as an object. Right there. I'll go open. And OK. Um, just before we go OK, obviously our um, orientation is slightly down there. We want to make sure that this sort of spawns out of the nozzle. So I'm going to drop my orientation roughly about there. This is a, a cheap way around getting that orientation to make sure the projectiles spawn correctly. But um, what you would normally do is you will make sure that you adjust it um, by adding a couple of uh, points up on the Y and X when you use object. But we're not going to do that. We want to do it nice and easy, so we'll do it this way. All right. So there's our projectile. Put that out there too. So we have a whole bunch of behaviors that we need to add to our objects. 
first things first, we are going to also insert our mouse so that we can access our mouse and be able to control this aiming sight to follow the mouse. So we will right click, insert new object, and instead of an object, we'll scroll down a little. There's inputs, and we're going to pick mouse and go insert. So now that we have the mouse inserted, we can access uh, variables related to the mouse. Um, so now we can start adding those behaviors. So our projectile, our projectile will have a behavior, and guess what behavior will be? It is going to be bullet. And we're going to go add, and we're also going to add one more behavior, which is quite crucial. Destroy outside of layout. Uh, very important to destroy your objects, um, when you, especially if you're spawning lots and lots of them, um, because eventually it'll be too much for your game to handle um, hundreds and hundreds of objects. So, add. So we've got bullet, destroy outside layout, great. And then we've got our gun. We'll also add some behaviors. We are going to our gun a tyrant behavior because we're going to make our gun aim at our target. So it will always rotate aiming at the target. So add. We're going to then add a pin to behavior. This will make sure that it uh, sticks to our player character. So we'll go pin two. And we are going to also add a destroy outside of layout. Add. So we have added our behaviors for our gun. I believe we are ready to start jumping into the event sheet and adding code in for our shooting. So let's go to our event sheet. Um, I've created a few variables and groups. Um, if you are following along from your own project, um, we have a player group which is right click on screen add group. Um, inside of our player group we have a whole array of player behaviors and element things that are related to our player doing things. Um, we are also going to add gun and projectile behaviors inside of our player group because it's related to our player. So um, I will be creating a subgroup um, so we're going to right click, add, and add a subgroup. And I will call this um, shooting um, yep, and yeah, we'll call it shooting. So inside of shooting we will have our mouse control. So let's create that first. We're going to add, uh, right click on our group, add, and then we're going to add a sub event. And in the system, we are going to tick. So every tick of our game, we're going to make sure that the aiming site is where our mouse is. So we're going to go add. And then we are going to go to our target and we are going to set our X and then, sorry about this, uh, all right, set our X and because now we have the 
um, mouse controls, we can type up mouse and there's our mouse down there, we can double click and dot x and this will give our x coordinate for our mouse and then we'll press done. We will do this for y, so we'll go add and target and set y. And then we'll be typing up mouse dot y and done. So if we play the game now, you'll see that our target will follow our mouse around, which is perfect. Lovely. So we are now going to um, go in to where our gun is. So if we click in our projects where our gun is, we have um, a range for our tyrant behavior. We're just going to crank that range up, something quite large. Um, this just makes sure that the target is always in range of our gun and we are going to do an event in our shooting group you know right click add sub event and we need to make our gun so we're going to get our player and then we're going to go on create. When our player comes in existence, we're going to tell our player, hey, can you make a gun or get your gun out? We're going to go player and we're going to go spawn another and the other will be our gun. And uh, we'll spawn it on the top layer Zero. Done. So, there we go. We have spawned our gun. Now, what we want to do is grab our gun and attach it to our player. Let's add an action. We'll get our gun. We'll go down to in to object. And then we will click and select our player. So we will attach our gun to our player. And now our player has the gun. And after we've done all that, we can acquire our target. So we're going to go to our gun. And if we scroll down to the turret behavior, acquire target. And next. And our target will be our target. Uh, turret behaviors can be used in multiple ways. Um, so if you wanted to have the range, um, you can adjust that and it could act as a turret. Um, we're using the turret behavior to aim at our target on the screen that we move around all the time. So we're done. Now we have this. Let's play and check if everything is working. And here's our player. And there is our player with a gun holding up What's the target. Perfect. Alright. So we know that works. So now we need to create an event where we will fire our projectile. So we are going to right click on our shooting group and we are going to add a oh oh we are going to add 
a sub event and we can get our mouse so you can use the mouse um, if you want to use a keyboard you'll have to add a keyboard input so like we did with the mouse input um, you'll have to add a keyboard one but uh, we're using the mouse in this example we'll click on the mouse and we have a on click so every click I will be able to fire a projectile so we're going to go next and left click and then we go we press done and now we can spawn so we can get up add action get our gun and we can spawn another and this will be our projectile probably so we can play it again and spawn our projectile and they're working absolutely lovely so here's our player moves about spawning our projectiles And yes, and losing health. <laughs> so, we are going to make sure that when our projectiles collide with our enemy, um, that they will destroy our enemy. I'm going to go up to the shooting group. We're going to add a sub event. We're going to get our projectile. And we're going to say on vision. With another, we are going to then select the enemy and done. So, when the bullet collides with the enemy, we're going to get the enemy, destroy the enemy. So if you wanted to add lives to the enemy, Please check out how we did uh, player health and player um, like the player health well uh, series. Otherwise, I will be coming up with further tutorials to um, do lives and other information for our enemies in the later videos. Um, and if we press play, we should be able to. Yes, now our player is victorious, and we have our projectile shooting behavior. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell icon, and I'll see you in the next video.